Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video I'm going to show you how you can get Orange Essence as fast as possible in the new season of League of Legends. Now Orange Essence is a crafting material used in League of Legends to unlock cosmetic content such as champion skins, champion emotes, ward skins, icons, many other things along those lines. Uh, most of you are going to use it to unlock skins, which require a lot of orange essence. So I'm going to show you the way that I get orange essence as fast as possible to help you unlock the skins that you are wanting to get. However, before we start the video, I would really appreciate it if you would hit the like button on this video, as it would really help push my videos out to a larger audience. And it would help me see what sort of content that you guys are enjoying and shows me what I should be making more of. Uh, and on the same note, if you like this video and you want to see more from me, then make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and that bell button next to it to be notified whenever I make a new video and new content as a whole. Uh, I not only make how-to and useful videos on League of Legends, uh, but I do the same on other games such as Red Dead Online, Minecraft, Hogwarts Legacy, Rainbow Six Siege, uh, and many more. So if that interests you, then make sure you check those videos out after watching this one, as I'm sure you will find something there that is useful and that can help you out on the other games that you play. So definitely check them out. So anyway... The way that I farm my orange essence in game is by taking advantage of these essence tokens. Uh, so when a league event gets released, they normally release an event pass that goes alongside with it. Uh, when an event is out, you can earn tokens from missions and which then can be used to unlock rewards such as champion shards, skins, uh, emotes and many other things that I will show you soon. However, when you purchase the game pass, uh, then it will speed up the process in how you can get these event tokens and means that you'll earn event tokens with every game that you play. So you won't be getting it just for missions, but then uh, for every game that you play as well. Uh, now, if you do not want to buy the event pass with your hard earned money, then I have a way that you can get free right points on my channel. Uh, so be sure to check that out. And if you don't want to purchase the pass at all, then you can still do this completely for free. Uh, however, the process will be a lot slower. As you can see, I have 200 tokens here waiting for me for when I purchase the pass, which I will do in a second. Uh, so it will speed up heavily. Now, what you're going to want to do to actually buy this pass is go to the home screen as normal. Go to your missions and obviously on these missions you see that you're getting event xp which i'll show you in a minute will get you these tokens uh but anyway if you ignore these missions for now you're just going to want to click get pass up in the top uh, and as you see i have 200 tokens waiting for me and then you're going to want to purchase either if you're if you're wanting the special skin and the champion and the border icon to go with it then you can do that as well but i'm just going to purchase this as normal click items purchase as part of a bundle are not refundable and click unlock now that i have that unlocked you can go over to this event page and you see that i get given 200 tokens to start with 400 uh, orbs to start with as well and basically the more that i play the game the more xp i unlock which means more tokens i get as the level goes on so i'm just going to claim this as normal and show you uh, basically how this works so after you do that, you're going to want to go over to your orbs uh, and you can work, uh, what am I trying to say? You can use these as normal. Uh, and if I open them, I'll show you. Got a grab bag uh, and whatever skins I get here. Obviously you can disenchant them for orange essence. However, that is not what, what we're doing for this video. What I am going to show you is uh, basically all the rewards that you can get from actually getting this pass what you're going to want to do is uh by farming this orange essence is by buying a lot of event tokens so event tokens you'll find on the side down here uh scroll down to the bottom and once you go past all of this stuff you'll find these um emote tokens uh and once you buy these emote tokens and then disenchant them uh, what you're going to get given is around 100 to 200 orange essence each time. And since you only need 60 tokens to buy an emote, then you'll be able to farm this very quickly with a mix of completing missions and playing the game as normal. So as you, as I showed you with these missions, you're getting 650 XP, 200 XP, uh, and then each time you're going to be get, unlocking these tokens. Once again, once you get to level 2, uh, you're going to be getting 60 tokens and you get mystery tokens straight away. If I get to level 1, I'm going to be getting 20 mystery tokens. So you just play the game as normal and progress. Uh, and then you're going to be getting these tokens, which can buy the emotes. 
and if I show you, I'm not going to buy them because I, I don't want to farm orange essence at the moment, but I can show you previous emotes that I already own. Uh, so if I scroll down past all my skins, uh, oh, I don't actually have emotes, but I'll show you in the same sense of an eternal uh, with an eternal because they because they have the same amount of disenchanting of orange essence. As you can see, say, for example, this was a uh, token. Uh, no, what am I trying to say? An, an emote token. You'll click disenchant, get your orange essence. And then with using that, you'll be able to get whatever skin you want. The reason I say that this is absolutely broken is, say, for example, you want a normal skin. Uh, you're going to only have to disenchant three times. So three tokens. So that's going to be 180 tokens, which you can get in around, I'd say, 10 to 15 games. Uh, and if you want anything more expensive, like a, an epic or a legendary, then it's going to take you a bit longer. But if you're playing the game on a regular basis, then it's not going to take you very long at all. Now, that's the strategy that I use to um, get orange essence. However, there's other things that you can do. Uh, so if I go into the store and talk about this prime gaming capsule, each time you open this, you'll get ward tokens, uh, you will get eternals, and that's why I have so many eternals. You'll also get given orange essence as normal uh, and other things along those lines. So like I said, if I go back to this loop and take a look at these eternals that I've gotten, uh, these have just been from opening the I've already forgotten the name of it, the Prime Gaming Capsule. And as you can see, I'm getting 120 each time. So if I enchanted all of these 4, 8, 12, 16, 9, uh, 17, 18, 19, so let's just call that 20, you're going to be getting 2,400 uh, Orange Essence from that, which can then get me a um, Ezreal and say, for example, a, oh, sorry, I said Ezreal, but I meant a Legendary skin uh, and another skin on top of that. So for something that's theoretically free, if you're already pay paying for Twitch Prime, Amazon Prime, uh, then if you link this, then you're also going to get your uh, Orange Essence completely for free. Uh, I wouldn't say go out of your way to buy it just so you can get this Orange Essence. But like I said, if, you, if you've already got that for free, then definitely take advantage of this. And once again, if you do not know how to link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime and then Twitch Prime to League of Legends, then I once again have done a video recently and I've done a video about a year ago on how to do that. So make sure you check that video out after watching this. Those are the two strategies that I do. Uh, there are a couple more things like, for example, you can go out of your way and buy these orbs and every uh, skin that you get that you don't want to keep, you can disenchant. However, that is not a very effective way for your money or for Orange Essence compared to the first tip that I gave you. But anyway, those are the tips that I've been given. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this grab bag on video and then I'm going to end it there. So I got given Guardian of the Sands Rengar, which is a very nice skin. Little Devil Teemo, which uh, is a lovely skin, but I hate the champion. And Elderwood Rakan, which is an absolutely beautiful skin. So I'm going to make sure I use that and take advantage of that. Anyway, guys, that has been the end of the video. Like I said earlier on, if you did enjoy this video, then please click the like button down below. And if you found it useful, please click the subscribe button as, it, uh, as well, as it would really help push my videos out. And it really helps me get motivated to make more videos for you guys. Now, before I ramble on, I'm going to end it here. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in the next video. Everybody, goodbye.